Hello YouTubers, this is Alan Me, and today I'm going to demonstrate the new Mego 1.0 for netbooks running on my EEE PC 900A. So let's quickly do this. First of all, I'm at the BIOS setup and I want to make sure that it's set to boot from my thumb drive. And it's not. It recognized my flashing on reader and my SD drive, so I'm going to do a Control Alt Delete and see if it'll find it. F2. Hmm. It's not there. I'm going to put it in another slot. Not that this does anything, but it makes me feel like I'm doing something intelligent. Okay, there we are. For some reason it was disabled. So now we got the USB flash ministry, min, flash memory at the first position, and now I'm going to make sure it boots from there. And that's it. So my F10, okay. Now right now I have Fedora 13 on there, and Fedora 13 is a trip running on the netbook. I tell you. Um, my options here are to boot Mego from the thumb drive or install boot from a local drive. I'm not going to install for some reason I'll get into a little bit later. So we're just going to boot here. And this is in real time so this is how long it takes to boot from the thumb drive. Of course it would be a whole lot faster if you had a hard drive or a good internal SD drive. So here we have the Mego logo. Nice little background there. Tells me it's unable to mount my 8 gig card which is in my reader. That's fine. I think my Fedora SSE Linux may have made some changes there. But it opens up on the My Zones. And the first zone is probably uh, this is the default. I have a little video here. Let's see what this is all about. Welcome to Mega. Mega is a new user experience that puts you in charge of your device. It's packed with all the great features. Okay, a little propaganda. Mego is a collaboration between Intel and uh, Nokia. I originally thought that it was KDE based, QT based, but there's a lot of known compo components here. And here is not good news. Banshee, I uh, said, so means there's mono on the system. So Banshee is the media player. Also here on this zone, we have the media player. We have Chrome, the browser a help in a mail program. Uh, let's see what the mail program is. If it's GNOME, it's probably Evolution. And there it is, Evolution. I prefer Thunderbird. I'm going to try uh, Zimbra pretty soon, see how it works. Okay, here's Chrome. Today, Google, Google Chrome, the 26th of May, Google Chrome came out of beta for Linux. So, let's see what version is of Chrome is running here. Chromium uh, 5.0395. I believe the 397 was the one that came out of beta, but I could be wrong on that. So, let's go to a site that I know has uh, Flash just to see. What type of if they have Flash already installed? Well, let's see.
Okay, I misspelled something. Alright, this right here is a uh, this is a website I've been working on. So Flash is already installed. This little Flash animation, this right here, I believe is a uh, marquee. So the browser's pretty good there. That's all I want to do about Chromium. Uh, back to application. It doesn't remember where I was. Okay, so I have to go back to the application menu again. And the games, the standard, the known games. On our internet, we know those. Under multimedia, we have an image viewer. Let's see what it is. Uh, it doesn't look like Shotwell. It's GNOME in Image Viewer. I've known. I wish it would remember where I was. And Media Player, Webcam, and Sound Recorder. Under Office, I have a Calendar, which I believe is going to be Evolution. Uh, contacts, let's see what this is. And in my mind, I, I forget that QT is not KDE. KDE is based on QT, but uh, Nokia may not necessarily uh, implement uh, QT, KDE uh, programs into, the, into their uh, product. Uh, it, it's based on the MAMO. Memo. Okay. Contacts is evolution. So I imagine the calendar is as well. Under there's no open office, uh, no Abbey Word, uh, no word processor. Of course you could argue that netbook users is not looking for that anyway. Under system tools, uh, bug reporting, I don't, I don't know what garage is. Uh, disk user analyzers. Okay. Back again. I'm going to see what garage is in a second. Update system. Uh, manage apps. Uh, and manage apps. I guess that's their package manager. And it has the look of K package, package kit, and all these. Uh, there's no synaptic. Uh, and here is the interesting thing is that you can look at your software sources that are enabled and those that aren't and they're all from Migo, Intel and uh, Nokia. There's no external repository so if they hadn't worked on it it's not there. In fact the reason why I'm doing this with my camera is that there was no GTK recording my desktop or Istanbul or any other program I can use to record the desktops so you get a higher resolution uh, show. Uh, and the communication is nothing. GNOME desktop full of mono bindings. Mono is, is prevalent here. Uh, KDE. Uh, there's not many games or educational things available. Uh, the other games there. Graphics, nothing. So that's one reason I'm not going to install it because there's I really can't use it. I, I like to do more than just surf the web. So then you have it. Here's a look at the Migo system for netbooks. And unlike the previous version of Moblin, there was no way to really shut your system off except just to turn the machine off. And uh, just like you would a telephone, just press the off button until it goes off. On this version, you'll see when I press the off button, I got a little dialog box asking me, "Do I want to turn off now, or else it'll turn off in 25 seconds?"